we're going to draw a cat drinking out of a lake or eating out of a field. So we're going to start by drawing a circle for the head or an oval kind of towards the bottom of our paper. So I'm going to draw a nice big circle or oval shape. And I'm just going to draw a couple of them just so you can see that it doesn't matter if you're, it gets a little wonky and wobbly. It's okay if it's not perfect. All right. But you're only drawing one of them, but I'm just going to show you that it's okay if it's not what you think is perfect because all of them will be cute no matter what. So we have our circle shape. We're going to draw two triangles for the ears. If you want to make it a little extra fancy, you can draw another triangle inside of that triangle. While you're doing that, I'm gonna do that on my other two pages just to show you that it's okay if we make ours a little bit different. Ears. Now we're gonna do the eyes. You can keep it simple and just do dots if you want to. You could also put a dot, or sorry, a circle around your dot. And now we're gonna do our nose. Again, you can just keep it simple and do a dot, or you could turn it into a triangle, or you could turn it into a heart shape. It's whatever you wanna do. And then we're gonna have a line that comes way down and then curves off to the side, kind of on both sides here. And that's gonna be sort of his mouth. This is where his whiskers would go. If yours looks different, that's okay. I'm gonna do it on the other two, just so you can see. So we're going to draw the eyes. I'm doing these eyes different, just so you can see that doesn't matter. Next, we have to draw a little tongue coming out of this mouth. So we're going to go like this. And don't worry about that line cutting over. It's not a big deal. I'm going to draw a line down for the tongue because it's licking out of the water. It's eating out of the field. Everyone's going to know that's a cat with its tongue out, right? Okay, next up, we have to draw the kitty kind of like he's kneeling down. So his little tail is going to be sticking up in the air. So we're going to draw just a big bump from one side of his head, curving down to the other side of his head. Bump up, bump down. Ooh, that's a big kitty. <laughs> now, just to help you kind of visualize and see what we're doing here, let's draw his tail up here. You could draw his tail just like a straight kind of hot dog shape. That's totally fine. If you want to make it a little bit curvy, you can curve it. And then whatever you do for your curve, because your curve can look totally different than mine, Maybe you did yours like this, or maybe you're just going to be like, you know what, I'm going to keep it simple and just do like kind of a hot dog shape sticking out there. That's fine. If you do a curve, the way that you turn it into a curly tail is that you can draw another line next to it, and you're sort of trying to follow it, almost like they're walking side by side. You're making a little road or something, and then when you get to the end, you just curve it. Same thing here. We'll draw it and then we're going to have it kind of follow the other line, try and keep it the same width, and then we'll curve it at the end. But if the curly cue is kind of tricky, that's okay. You can do like kind of just a straight tail and that's fine too. All right, the next step is when if, if a kitty's drinking, his, his little paws are going to be kind of down by his face, right? So we'll just draw two little bumps off the side. And then you can add little lines to make it look like a paw. And then we want to show the little back legs too. So you could just keep it simple and do another little bump right here, a little bump right here, and make it look like little paws. If you want to add another little bit of more realism to it, you can have it bump out right here and that'd be sort of his like back little hind legs kind of sticking out there. So I'm going to add that to my other ones. And if you're like, wait, what did she do? You can see what I'm going to do with here. So we're doing a bump next to his face. Another bump for his paws. We do another bump here. Another little bump here for his little back legs. 
drawing a bump, bump for those back paws, or for the front paws, and now let's do the back paws. All right, so these are all kitty cats drinking out of the lake. They're all different, and they're all wonderful. So you can add little dots for whiskers, or you can actually draw whiskers if you want to. Maybe your whiskers are straight, maybe they curl, or maybe you just leave yours with dots. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to maybe add some patterns and colors and designs and make these look amazing. And now you would color it. 